Welcome in to DRF Sportsbook Daily, DRF Sportsbook's live betting stream every single weekday coming at you at around 11 a.m. Eastern, getting you set for a full slate of MLB action. We have some fantastic games on the docket today, including Route 66 rivalry between the Cubs and the Cardinals. We're going into Phillies Braves, a nice NLE showdown. Red Sox Astros complete our fantastic MLB slate for the day. And our featured free game of the day, you might think it's Cubs Cardinals, but don't worry if you head on over to drf.com slash sports. All of the data for Cubs Cardinals is free. It's free along with our featured free game of the day, which is Giants Dodgers. A nightcap game, a rivalry game that is bound to be fantastic. Alex Wood against Tyler Anderson. Alex Wood, a little bit under uh, underappreciated, a, le- a lefty who has a under 500 record going up against Tyler Anderson, who, man, has he been red hot over his last three games over this entire season. A real, 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 real dark horse to win the Cy Young, uh, but his odds are there. You can find his odds, but his odds are very long, so wouldn't say it's necessarily a foregone conclusion. Uh, he has to do a lot more in the second half of the season, but never say never. And before we get into all of that, as always, we got to do the housekeeping stuff. Get that out of the way. If you're not already, follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, any social media platform. You can find us at DRF Sportsbook. We've changed our name. We're no longer DRF Sports on social media. Follow us at DRF Sportsbook. You see it right down there. DRF Sportsbook Daily is handing out all of the best bets for MLB and then when it gets to NFL college football all of that using our exclusive proprietary data betting angles trends line movements everything like that to make sure that you guys have a profitable day so with all of that out of the way why don't we jump into route 66 rivalry it is a fantastic game tonight Cubs Cardinals Cardinals are minus 160 tonight the total is set at eight Keegan Thompson's going to get the start for the Cubs Oldie but a goodie, Adam Wainwright, gets the start for the Cardinals here tonight as he is one game under 500 so far on the season. But, man, is he still performing at a really, really high level for such an old guy, for such an old pitcher. That 12-6 curve surely is still devastating. St. Louis comes into this one 3-1 and one over their last four. If you flip that record, the Cubs come into this one 1-3 one in three over their last four. They continue to be... Um, What's the word? Disappointing of a season. Uh, Wilson Contreras might be on the move. They've blown it all up since their World Series. Ride. We could really dive into the sadness that is Chicago Cubs fandom, but we won't we won't focus on that. We'll mainly talk about this game, what to expect out of this rivalry. Spoiler alert. Cardinals probably going to win this series and the Cardinals uh, a solid pick to win tonight. Uh, Cardinals all season, they struggle sometimes against good teams, but against bad teams, and we're going to define a bad team as a win percentage between 38 and 46%. They have a very, very good record. They're 19 and eight straight up against really bad teams. Uh, But here's the kicker. The Cubs are two and one so far this season in games at St. Louis. Uh, But I think the Cardinals get to 500 here tonight. Thompson this season, five, five and four with a 404 ERA. So not a great ERA for him and not a great win loss record, but, you know, doing what he needs to do to keep chugging along over his last three, though, he does have a two, six, five ERA. So he's been performing a little bit better over his last three starts, but he's going up against Adam Wainwright, who is seven and eight, but that ERA tells slightly of a different story. He has a three, two, eight ERA, um, Against the Cubs, he's had 45 starts, so he knows what he's going to be seeing tonight. He has a winning record against the Cubs, and he has a 389 career ERA when he faces off against Chicago. So pair that, that I think they have the better pitcher. I think they come into this one a little bit more hot. The Cubs, they just aren't that good. The Cubs average 4.2 runs per game, but they allow 4.9. Cardinals, on the other hand, score 4.6 runs and allow just four. They have the better average. They have the better on-base percentage. They have the better slugging percentage. They hit more home runs. They have the better pitcher tonight. Give me the Cardinals at minus 160, minus 165, depending on your book. Our simulator thinks you could even probably do a little bit of a run line action at minus one and a half. Um, I'm not going to go that far, but our simulator does like the Cardinals to win this one 5-3. And I think the Cardinals might bring out the brooms and sweep the Cubs in this Route 66 rivalry. 
Uh, breaking down that game, we're going to move on to Phillies Braves. Kind of an interesting game here. Phillies come into this one winning their last five and their six and one over their last seven. Braves coming into this one off of a sweep against the Diamondbacks. So not nothing, nothing amazing. The Diamondbacks, you know, aren't a great team, but they did sweep them. And the Phillies also come into this one really, really hot. But here's the interesting part of this game. The Phillies are starting Nick Nelson. I've never heard of Nick Nelson. Who is Nick Nelson? Why are you starting this in a pivotal NL East showdown? I mean, the, the Braves are... Make it make sense. I don't fully understand. It might be a bullpen day. I mean, who knows? It, we're in the dog days of the we're in the dog days of the year. So a lot is a lot is happening at all times. Uh, first pitch is seven twenty p.m. Eastern. Atlanta will be starting Spencer Strider uh, on the other side. Nick Nelson. This is just his second start of the season. He's a four five ERA over his last uh, in his two innings uh, that he went in his last start. So clearly a bullpen guy. He's going to go through the order one, maybe twice, probably once. And then they'll start bringing in some relievers. So that could bode well for the Braves. That could also bode well for the Phillies. If their bullpen's on on and having a good day, Braves can't really get into a good rhythm. They can't really see a pitcher all that well. They might struggle to produce runs to push runs across. Uh, but Spencer Schreider on the other side, he's 4-2 and two with a 3-5-4 ERA. Neither one of these teams have really had the advantage against each other so far this season. They're both five, they're five and five against each other, and they're two and two against each other in Atlanta. So not a huge difference uh, against these two teams. The key though, Braves are 36 and 21 at home this season. They're also 16 and four at home when favored by minus 200 or more. So the value according to our game simulator or excuse me, according to our power line, is on the Phillies there at plus 200. Uh, they think Braves minus 174 is more what the line should be, and it's all the way to minus 220. So you could get the Phillies at plus 200 if you want to play the value side of this. But to play the value side of this and win your bet, I urge you to do run line minus one and a half in favor of the Braves. You can get that at minus 122. It may have changed a little bit in the last hour or so, but if you go Braves minus one and a half, I think that's that's the key if you want to juice up your line just a little bit. The Phillies are a really good team. So are the Braves, but I think the Braves are slightly better in terms of pitching tonight. I think they come in a little bit hotter and they're at home. So give me Braves minus one and a half to juice up that uh, run line a little bit and get myself a little bit more value than what the money line's giving me at minus 220. Our simulator also thinks they win this one by three runs, seven to four. So I feel pretty comfortable in doing run line there. And we we broke down this game last night and it burned me, right? Red Sox, Astros, Astros favored minus 210. The total set at eight for tonight. I was all over the Astros last night. And they lost in a 3-2 battle at home against Boston. Um, look, there's no way I'm, I'm going with the Red Sox to win back-to-back in Houston. I'll, I'll fade the Red Sox for the rest of this series. I don't care if the Red Sox win tonight. I don't see them winning, sweeping the Astros in this one. Boston won 3-2, like I said. But here's the key. Where's the where's the number? They're seven. Houston's seven and three this season. I found it seven and three this season after a one run loss. And not only that, they're 27 and 10 this season after a loss. And so you might be thinking the Red Sox might be able to buck that trend. They might be able to have that momentum. They might be able to put back to back wins. Wait a minute. Not so fast. Don't get high hopes. Red Sox betters, Red Sox fans. Red Sox five and eight straight up this season coming off of a one run win. And not only that, they're just 26 and 25 coming off of a win. So they haven't been able to string together wins, haven't been really solid so far this season. And they come into this one 52 and 52 tonight. Houston's back. There is some money on Boston. It's the lines moved a little bit and you can get them at minus 190. You can get Houston at minus 190 at DRF Sportsbook if you're in Iowa right now. And I urge you to do that because I think at minus 210, that's some fantastic value. But I'll even go one step further. Cutter Crawford's getting the start. He's 0-2 this season for Boston in his six starts. Does have a 3-4-1 ERA, so nothing too shabby. He's going up against Christian Javier, 6-6 six six with a 3-7-4 ERA. But he hasn't had a win since July 1. He's had a couple of losses and no decision in there. 
I think he gets a win tonight. I think the Astros get a win tonight. I think the Astros offense will come alive here tonight. And I'm not even betting Astros minus 190, even though I think that's some good value. If you look at our power line, power line makes his minus 166. Not a lot of discrepancy there. Not only that, our game simulator likes the Astros to win by two runs as well. Scratch all that. Throw that out the window. I'm going off of trends. I'm going off of, you know, what these two teams have done after close wins, after close losses. And historically speaking, this season, the Astros have performed exceptionally well after close L's. So give me Houston, not money line. Give me Houston minus one and a half. When I wrote this an hour ago, it was plus 104. Some lines have changed. You could probably get Houston minus one and a half at an even better value right now. You can get plus money. I think Houston wins this game by two, three, four runs. I think they come out and dominate a Red Sox team who've been lackluster as of late, and they barely scratched across a couple of runs. Not only that, Boston's fielding has been abysmal. They had two errors last night. These two teams at the plate were pretty much neck and neck. I think Boston had one more hit than the Astros did. They both stranded like six or seven runners. So I think the Astros will flip the script tonight and get a big time win. And because of that, I'm going Houston minus one and a half to give myself a little bit more juice, to give myself a little more oomph behind that bet. All right. So that's our breakdown of our MLB best bets. Three games. I think we got three winners after a one and three Monday. I think we're back with a Tuesday that that provides a lot of value. So just a quick recap of those games. We're going Cardinals minus 160 against the Cubs in the Route 66 rivalry. We're going Atlanta, not money line. We're going run line minus one and a half. That's at minus 122. I think Atlanta can come out and uh, take advantage of a, a Felix team that has been relatively hot. I just think at home, they might be able to have a leg up. And I prefer the pitching matchup for, in favor of the Braves over Nick Nelson and the Phillies. And then Red Sox, Astros, we just broke it down. Another run line, another home favorite that I'm trying to juice up a little bit. Give me Astros minus one and a half. And you can get that at plus money. Love that value. I think the Houston Astros have a huge bounce back game tonight. So if you're not already, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of that. Just type in DRF Sportsbook and we'll appear. And if you're in Iowa, you can bet all of these games, all of our DRF specials, all of our daily boosts at ia.drf.com. Iowa only for right now, uh, but some big time, big time uh, offers coming at you over at ia.drf.com. Also available uh, on the Google Play Store and Apple App Store.